Hi, this is Ansible for Networking Engineers Part 4. Today we're going to look at how we can use GitHub to assist in backing up our network devices. First thing to do is generate an SSH key pair. I'm going to accept all the defaults and leave the passwords blank. That's where my public key is stored. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to cut that public key. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to go to GitHub and add that into my SSH and GPG keys. Paste the key there. Give it a useful name. I'm going to call this one Ubuntu YouTube and add the SSH key. Confirm your password and it's added. I'm going to go to the repository I now want to clone, which is our YouTube repository. I'll copy the clone link. Jump back to Ubuntu and I'll quickly install Git. Then I'll do a Git clone and paste the Git link in that we just copied. And that has cloned the remote repository to our local computer. Let's change it to Ansible YouTube. And let's make a directory called part four. In part four, I'm gonna create a directory called backups. And within backups, I'm going to create a readme file. In the readme file, I'm just going to write repository for backups. I'm now going to change back to the root of the repository. And I'm going to quickly set up my git global user email and my git global user name. I'm now going to do a git add dot, which will add everything. I'm going to do a git commit minus m with the message add part four. And I'm going to do a git push. You can see within the repository now, we've got a part four and a readme file. I've created a YAML file called backup. Started with the three tags. And I'm going to name this one configuration backup pre-change. I'm going to specify the hosts to use as lab. I'm not going to gather the facts and I'm going to create a variable called git branch and point it to the local repository we've just cloned. Under tasks, I'm going to create a fact to grab the timestamp so that we can add that to our commit messages. So we know what date we backed up the routers. I'm going to specify that to run once so it only iterates once. And I'm going to debug the timestamp just to make sure that what we're grabbing is correct. And I'll set that to run once true, just to prove that run once is Boolean. I'll run the play. We've set the fact, we've debugged the correct timestamp. What I'll do now is I'll delete that section. Now we know it works. And starting from line 16 now, we'll get our git configuration into Ansible. So the first thing I want to do is switch to the target branch. I'm going to do a git checkout, point to the variable that we created, which points again to our local repository. I'm also going to git synchronize. So I'll do a git pull so we always know that what we're working with is the most up-to-date version. I'll also check the status in case we need to capture that for any sort of debugging or logging. And finally, I'll add the files to the git staging area. I'll commit and push them with a git add, a git commit, and a git push. All the other parameters are exactly the same across all four players. Let's test that it works. So we'll grab the timestamp, we switch to the target branch, we synchronize with the remote branch, we check the status, and then we add to the staging area, commit and push. All works great. Okay, let's end our line 30. 
we'll start sorting the configuration necessary to back up our network devices. I'm going to name this one NXOS devices. I'm going to create a block in case I need to add anything else into this section for NXOS. I'm going to call this one backup Cisco NXOS devices from inventory. I'm going to use the NXOS config module. Within there, we're going to specify the backup keyword to be yes and set some backup options. The first one being the file name to use. So we want it to grab the inventory host name, whether it be R1, R2, ESA, etc, etc. We'll also set the directory of where we want the file to be copied to as the git branch, which is our backups folder. And we'll get this to run when the operating system is NXOS. We did this in our previous video. I'm going to now do exactly the same for iOS devices. Taking note that this is the iOS config module. Everything else stays exactly the same apart from the conditional. The when statement needs to be when iOS. And I'm going to do exactly the same now for ESA. Using the ESA config module, everything else is exactly the same. Apart from the conditional again, which will be when Ansible Network OS equals ESA. Let's give it a save and run the playbook. We've captured the timestamp. We switch to the target branch. We've now synchronized with the remote branch. The NX OS devices should skip everything apart from R7, which it has. We're now backing up the iOS devices, which should run on everything apart from R7 and the ESA. And task three should skip everything apart from the ESA device. Finally, we check the directory status. We add to the Git staging area, we commit and push. And now if we jump back into GitHub, we should see all of our devices have backed up with the appropriate inventory host name and all the config is there and present. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing or drop me a like all the code that we've used in today's video is in GitHub. Links in the description below. Next time, I'm going to look at Cisco Pi 8 and how to gather structured data from our network estate.